Hey everyone, today I'm going to show and review to you the Katsukiri 2DS Capture Card. I'll give a brief overview of the manufacturer, the details of the ordering and shipping process of the product, I'll show the hardware itself and review its features, and of course demonstrate the product with Super Smash Bros. So first, a brief overview of the manufacturer. The Capture Card is developed in Tokyo, Japan by a group called Katsukiri's Game Shop Direct. The company is directed by Toru Katsuki, who is the president, who also works alongside four or so other people, who help him assemble the kits and ship them out. The company has a shop front in Tokyo, where you can make an appointment to go to, and when you do, you can give them your 3DS or other system, and they will modify it to have a video out to the computer. The process only takes about an hour when you go there. It's about 30 minutes for the kit assembly and then about another 30 minutes to test the kit. And then of course you can go pick it up. But the ordering and shipping process is a lot different for international customers. But in general, the company develops these capture kits for the 3DS 3DS XL, the 2DS, and also a PS Vita. And coming soon is a new Nintendo 3DS capture card, currently in development. The details of the ordering and shipping process of the product. For international customers, it's a little bit more difficult than just walk into the shop and it's done in an hour. You have to order it from the Game Shop Direct website which isn't too hard. All you have to do is find the correct product and order it and then pay for it. Now, there's two options for this. You can either get them to accept your 3DS that you ship to them and they will modify it and send it back to you. It's a little bit cheaper, but the capture card itself is still relatively expensive. The other option is to buy a brand new system from them and they'll install the system's capture card and ship it out to you. That is the easiest option available, although it is also the most costly because you have to buy a new system. Now what I did was I purchased the 2DS system with the capture card installed directly from them. So I got the European model so it can work with all the game cartridges and I got the 2DS because well it's going to be really expensive either way but it's not going to be ridiculously expensive as if I had have purchased a 3DS or 3DS XL. So all in all it was about 400 US dollars. Now the shipping of the process can be a little bit temperamental. It can take between about two weeks to a month and a half for it to arrive. For me, after two weeks, I sent them an email asking them about when will it be shipped. They said, or they replied in about four hours and 45 minutes saying, due to the uh, excessive amount of orders, due to the release of Super Smash Brothers, it could take a bit longer, but they didn't really specify how much longer or where they're at at the moment. But then about a week later, they shipped the system. So that's about three weeks and one day. And then I received it about five days later from UPS. Although their website actually said it was EMS or DHL, they shipped it through UPS. And of course they had to ship it right on the long weekend. So there was a public holiday, I had to wait an extra day. So otherwise it would have been about four days from UPS to Australia. So you shouldn't be too much worried if you haven't received your item in about a month now because PayPal has increased their 45 day dispute limit to six months, which is 180 days. So you should feel a bit more secure with that. Although I didn't have the pleasure of that when I had ordered it. Now I was very close to submitting one, but luckily that didn't come to that. So now I'm going to show the hardware itself. Now I have the 2DS in this 
2 ds case it doesn't come with the case it comes in this box with just a 2ds system with the capture card on it so anyway i'm going to open this up and show you the 2ds system so yes a regular 2ds system you might not get the color you want although i did but i didn't actually say which color i wanted but i'm pretty happy with white red and black which the black is their part but yeah, it's still pretty cool. So what it is, is they've installed this bulky black piece of material, plastic, which makes it have a USB port on the side of the 2DS. Although I don't see that to be very practical in the usage of the 2DS because it kind of, kind of gets in the way there. And of course, there's going to be a cord sticking out of there, right next to all the major buttons. But I, there's actually not that much else they could have done. They could have possibly made it come out the back there, like the bottom. But yeah, it's coming out the side. Now, one thing I will note about the uh, port, it's not all that secure. So if I plug this, if I push this cable in, you'll see it's moving, it moves side to side, the whole, the whole board moves side to side. I don't think that's a very good thing, I think maybe it should be secured to something, not just flopping around there. And another thing I noticed was the, there is a screw that's a bit loose, well it's, it's not loose, but it's not all the way in. So, yeah, there's a screw loose. But overall, it it does what it's supposed to do. It's it's a capture card. And it works just perfectly fine as a normal 2DS. So I'm going to give a demonstration of the capture card on the system. Now it comes with some proprietary software, like uh, I think it's a Neostoro N3DS view. Now what you have to do is just plug in a USB, or the USB, it comes with a USB cable. So plug that into the side. And it will, it will work. And it will come up on your screen. Actually I'll open a recording software first. And it'll give you a bunch of options, like you can turn 3D mode on apparently, but I don't think it actually does anything because you don't have a slider on the thing. You can choose filters, you can adjust the size, you can adjust the view of how how you want to display these two screens. You can put them on separate screens if you want, you can do it full screen. You can set the rotation and yeah, there's a few things there. You can even choose whether you want the audio to come out through the USB. So I'm going to record a game of Super Smash Brothers. Okay, now it's recording. So you can see it's on the screen. Smash Brothers takes a little bit. <laughs> of time to load. So, Super Smash Brothers. It's actually a lot easier to play it off the monitor than the actual 2DS. It's a lot larger. Ready for all. Let's see, um, me? me. And change some setting on there. Choose any random stage. Oh, why? <laughs> why choose this stage? Three, two, one, go! Oh, 
Oh dear. Results, but yeah, that, that worked out well for me then. Free for all. So yeah, if you have a question about the uh, the system, the capture card, the software, just let me know in the comments and I'll likely respond pretty quickly. So thanks for watching. This has been uh, Katsu Kitty 2DS Capture Card on Jewel 95. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed it. And yeah, thanks for watching.